There's a very good chance I won't be needing this anymore. That's four and a half kilos I won't miss. With the exhaust gone, it really does feel like I'm starting to make some progress towards doing the EV side of this project. Unfortunately, I've still got a bunch of little jobs to do, so that's what I've been doing all week. Haven't got much footage of it, so let me run you through what I've been doing. We received a couple of deliveries here. Uh, it was a slave cylinder for the rear, we've got a couple of springs and some pot new pipes. Everything rubber in this car is going to be replaced. We got some new carpets, we got some premium moulded carpets off eBay. Um, they turned out less. They turned out to be less than ideal, unfortunately. So I think they're going to be going back. They just don't fit as described. Uh, we've taken a bit of stuff out of the car, ready for powder coating. We've got the steering column, the brake and clutch. We've got the accelerator somewhere. We've got a couple of plates and stuff we plan on getting um, powder coated. Taken a couple of uh, brake and master cylinders out of the engine bay. The carburetor was sitting in there. Now the plan is over the next couple of weeks is to drop these subframes out get them completely reconditioned uh, put new disc brakes on the front uh, all new drum brakes on the back i'll be dropping all the suspension out of these subframes getting the subframes powder coated cleaned up uh, sandblasted then powder coated and then replacing all the suspension components with all new gear so we've got no problems at all with the suspension and the braking um, and then i hope to be able to take the wiring harness out of here and repaint this so do this as a little project myself see what i can do about painting that engine bay rattle cans and a bit of luck i'll get that done and it won't look so bad um, i do want to make the engine bay look as pretty as possible just so when i open the bonnet you know i've got something really to show off now i've got my 3d printer getting fixed so hopefully once i start doing the ev side of it in a, in a week or two maybe four i'll be able to 3d print some parts and components get a mock-up happening so I can work out sizes, shapes, heights and stuff like that. Now, on the inside, you can so, sort of see some more of the stuff that I've been doing. Now, underneath this light, unfortunately, I've forgotten to put it on every other video. And you can see there, we've got a crack. Unfortunately, that is a very common mini thing. I did see it when I bought the car. I just kept forgetting to put it on the camera. So I've just ground that away and that'll get welded up. It'll all get flattened out, welded up properly uh, from both sides. So that won't ever happen again. Now back to the dash. We've pulled everything out. As you can see, the pedal box is gone. We've also got the heater element out. I've completely stripped down the heater. Now this car hasn't been on the road for 35 years and it's got, what, 72,000 Ks on it? Um, the heater element, the heater core, was still in good condition. There's no links. I pressure tested that for a good week. I basically put the garden hose on there, clamped it all on there, um, and just left the garden hose on full for an entire week, and there was no leaks from that, so I'm happy with that. Um, I do like the bareness up there with the extra room, um, and it's a little bit lighter. And now, even though the heater box is still good and serviceable, I have found a smaller one that fits up underneath the dash, so I might utilize that if it's lighter and smaller than the one I have. Um, as I said with the carpet, I put the carpet in here and it just it just doesn't fit very well. Um, you would expect the carpet to go around this seam at the bottom, but it sort of sits up four inches on both sides and the mat is actually sort of over here for underneath the pedal box. I'm not too happy with the carpets, but the seller is working with me, so I'm happy with that. Uh, another drawback, what I've been finding in here is these little um, mud wasps. So they've been hiding in this car uh, in, the, in the most awkward places. Now, it was inside the heater box and you can even see them inside of here. There's a little nest in there and all this. Um, so I'm going through everything, pulling it all apart. There was a few inside the door area. I've replaced all the rubbers and stuff there. That, that whole door has been replaced. All the rubbers there have been replaced and are working well. This door's yet to be done. Um, if anybody is out there and has mini parts, I would love a passenger side door um this cord event because this is not in there and i can't find the the rubber for it and to be honest i'd love to keep that 86 regist uh what is it regist sticker intact I, I don't really want to get rid of that so if 
if anybody's got one of them let me know I also need the need the piece of vinyl that goes all the way along the back there if anybody's got one but tubers that is not the sort of update I wanted to give you this week I would love to have given you a lot more but unfortunately we're doing really boring repetitive stuff I am working as hard as I can towards the actual EV side of it and this is going to crank up a notch or two once we do get to that but this is this sort of stuff is needed so I appreciate you hanging around thank you very much for tuning in uh, if you like this sort of stuff please hit the subscribe button and the little bell button down the bottom there just so you get notifications when I upload and thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one